Welcome to today's episode of Entertainment Speakeasy, where our topic is violence on film. So of course, we're joined by Artie Pasquale, an actor who's appeared in over 50 films, who you may recognize from The Sopranos, mm. who died a very violent death. <laughs> Bert Gervaisi. Let's, uh, let's talk about it. Killed off by Silvio Dante, garroted, right? So that was pretty awesome. And uh, I believe it was, yes, the last kill on The Sopranos. Yeah, I didn't want to get shot like everybody else. No, I just, I understand. I, so I prefer, I prefer it to be garroted, yes. Sure. No, it was a great, first of all, it was a great show. Very thankful to be in it. You know, it was a wonderful show. You all, you know, you all know how, how great it was. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I was killed towards the end, which was good. So I lasted quite a while. You did. And uh, it, was a vi it was a violent scene. But, you know, The Sopranos wasn't one that was just doing things just for violence, you know. They would inject a little humor here and there, you know. Even, I think even when, when I got killed, there was the dog barking, and Silvio Dante gives me this look. It was almost like a comedic look. So you accepted the violence as long as there was a little comedy to it. So, and I think that's the, that was the writing, you know, the right, they inserted that and did that intentionally so that you wouldn't just get caught up in people getting shot and killed and cursing, you know. So leave the gun, take the cannolis, of course. Yeah, yeah, that kind so, of thing. Yeah. And you died for a reason. Oh, yeah, I deserved what I got, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> perhaps not that particular way, but... Playing both sides against the Yeah, middle. Phil Leotardo and Tony Soprano. And... Phil Leotardo, of course, played by the great Frank Vincent. Mm. Uh, Tony Soprano, of course, played by the great James Gandolfini. Yeah. Um, and honestly, we're getting into some interesting topics here of... Uh, Film violence, video game violence, school violence. Now that's an interesting topic, and of course a very current one right now. Now you, as a as a, as a former teacher in your former life before acting, what are your thoughts on on school violence? Yeah, well, you always had fights, you know, in a schoolyard or people challenging. You had bullying that took place, um, but not like gang violence, mm. like it is now. And with the, with our culture and our society changing, it's a multicultural society, obviously. You have more different groups that don't particularly get along with each other, and you have some gangs in schools, and it's for real now. You know, you don't threaten anybody anymore. They, if you threaten somebody, there's a good chance they're going to come back and do something to you. So, that's it's more so now. But like you said, video games don't help it. Uh, young kids on their Xbox shooting, killing people for points, you know, Oof. and being proud of it. I said before, if you have a hundred people that are playing video games and, and there's a good chance that maybe two or three don't have the home life, the stable home life that most of us have. They might go out and do something foolish, you know. Before you know it, you have a shooting at a school someplace. Now, I remember playing Mortal Kombat, which came out when I was in high school, and... and I did, okay. no, it, no, no. no, that's Street Fighter. But uh, <laughs> That was the one I played. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so I played a lot of those games. I still do to some extent. I love video games. And I don't want to necessarily go on a murderous rampage, but I understand what you're saying. Not everybody has the, the, the family upbringing, the cultural upbringing, the mental stability, let's be honest, about, about and, and being able to be influenced by certain of these types of very violent And violences. I had parents, you know, old-fashioned Italian parents that they wouldn't let you, they wouldn't let you watch something that was that mm. violent, you know, and they were pretty strict as far as that goes. But today's, the parents today seem to think that it's just, oh, it's just a video game, so what? And they give a kid a phone, and on a phone they can actually do who knows what they're watching on, the, on their phone. God, so I mean, there's some grisly stuff out there on the internet, for sure. Well, yeah. violence is everywhere now. We have ultimate fighting, where yeah. the more blood, oh, look, you know, he beat the crap out of him, or his eye popped out. It was awesome. Was it, yeah, was it though? <laughs> was it but, you know, even in, I was saying this the other day, even a, a car accident, you hear a smash. Sure. So you run down there to see what it's like. And unless you see somebody's head in the sidewalk, you're like disappointed. Oh, it's just, a, you know, the guy just dented his fender. I mean, I mean, rather than saying, gee, he survived, you know, the guy was lucky to Thank be God. alive. Yes, We're disappointed because we don't see any blood and guts in it. It's interesting how, in general, I guess it's a, it's a natural thing for us to... It's human nature. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know, but it's out of control. And now, we I get guess. desensitized. Now, maybe Absolutely. maybe we are desensitized to violence. We don't have that human compassion that we used to have, yeah. which is, that's really something to think about. And yeah, we so. were talking before, and you mentioned something that you have to respect your audience. You don't necessarily have to show 
the violence, you can just show, hey, take care of that guy. And in the next scene, the guy's, you know, with a cast on his arm. You have to respect your audience and make sure that they can think of them for themselves. Absolutely. And honestly, um, we all have our opinions and we've shared them liberally, but you guys have your own opinions and we'd love to hear from you on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Let us know your thoughts on violence in film. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it too much? Is it not enough? What do you think? So we want to thank Artie for joining us today. Hey. Cheers to you. Hey. Salute. Salute. Thank you. Done, yes. And my wonderful <laughs> co-host. And we'll see you guys next time. Follow these guys. They do a great job. Thank you.